Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. I'm still in my Google apron because we were at headquarters in Mountain View to take a look at a device that's launching today. And I have it right here. This is our Google Pixel 3a unboxing and hands-on. Let's dive straight in. This is the new Pixel 3a. Well, at least inside the box there is one. Everything looks pretty standard. Although today we've got a new color, purple-ish. The Pixel 3a is also available in white and black and in two sizes. The 3a is 5.6 inches and the 3a XL is 6 inches. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let me know of your hashtag Team Pixel below. Pull here to remove the seals. Let's do it together, shall we? Ready? There you go, the Pixel 3a. You pull on this tab to lift. There you go. Can you see the lavender color? We'll set it aside for now. Ah, Google logo. Let's lift this away. First up is this packet. We know what this is, SIM ejector tool. Also in here, user guides, stickers, and safety info. And also in the box, USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-A adapter, and over here, the lightning bolt gives it away. An 18 watt fast charging brick. Okay, now on to the main event. Let's peel this off, shall we? Ooh, really liking this new lavender shade. I get why it's called purple-ish. Under the right conditions, the phone does look lavender, but sometimes it just looks white. Its accent color is a neon yellow home button, as seen over here on the right side of the phone beside the volume rocker. On the left, there's a single nano SIM card slot. On the bottom, a USB-C port and speaker grills. And up top, yep, a headphone jack. In traditional Pixel fashion, both the 3a and 3a XL have only one main camera and a circular fingerprint reader below. Up front, there's a selfie camera and an earpiece that doubles as a stereo speaker. This is the Google Pixel 3a XL and this is the Google Pixel 3 XL from last year. At first glance, the two are almost indistinguishable. But if we're comparing launch prices, the difference is huge. 479 for the Pixel 3a XL and 899 for the Pixel 3 XL. That's more than $400 off. So there must be compromises, right? Well, yes and no. Sure, there are trade-offs, but none where it really matters. Build quality is, of course, different. It's not immediately obvious because of its matte coating, but actually the back of the Pixel 3 is made of glass, and on the Pixel 3a, it's polycarbonate. Up front, the Pixel 3 has Gorilla Glass, and on the 3a, the lesser-known Dragon Trail. Only the Pixel 3 XL has a notch. That means the Pixel 3a and 3a XL have rather large forehead and chins. Inside, there's a more powerful processor too. So even if both phones have the same main camera system, you'll see the difference in power intensive tasks like photo processing. But after all is said and done, the results are pretty much the same. Unlike the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, which enjoy some of the fastest wireless charging speeds on the planet, the 3A and 3A XL do not support wireless power-ups. They come with the same 18 watt charger though, and promise charge times of 25% in 15 minutes. It's also worth noting that these new Pixels have bigger batteries versus their more premium siblings, but we haven't had the time to see if the extra capacity makes a difference. At just a dollar shy of 400, the Pixel 3a is a steal. It's got the best of what Pixels exclusively offer. Things like call screening, Google Duplex, and camera features like Night Sight. Sure, the display may be lower in resolution, but it's still an OLED panel that's equally as impressive. And to the naked eye is debatably negligible. And yes, it may be made of less expensive materials, but in the hand, the phone feels just as premium. 
but probably most importantly, it's got the same incredible camera that can shoot incredible photos like these. So what I'm saying is this, this is a Pixel phone and it's a solid one that can hold its own against the best of 2019. It might be too early to give you a resounding recommendation, but it's surely one worth considering if you're looking for a phone that doesn't break the bank, but delivers on all the essentials and then some. And that was our Google Pixel 3a unboxing and hands-on. The Pixel 3a XL is also available. For more on that, you can check out my friend Danny's video by clicking over here. We are spending the whole week here in Mountain View and might have more videos coming your way. So to make sure you don't miss any of that, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. From here in Mountain View, California, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.